Welcome back, legends. I hope you're all amazing. On today's video, I want to break down a lick that I played on my recent live stream where I was just running through some soloing approaches. A few people have pointed it out that I've been playing this lick a lot in a lot of my demo videos as well. It is an absolutely over the top three note per string, string skipping, legato tapping monster that I ripped off from a Paul Gilbert instructional video. I'll give you the examples that came up recently and then I'll do my best to break it down. Let's go. This is a fun lick as well. Uh, let's try it. This lick is a variation on one of the more terrifying licks from the already terrifying Bible of Shred Guitar, Paul Gilbert's Intense Rock Volume 1. Thank you, Paul, for letting me rip this particular lick off. We're going to start by playing the notes of an E-7 arpeggio. So I'm in standard tuning at the moment. The examples that you heard were not in standard tuning. They were playing different variations of this. It's just a matter of transposing it. I find E makes a lot of sense. So we're going to play fret 12, 10, and 7 on the high E string, and then skip over to fret 12, 9, and 7 on the G string. They are the notes E, the root, D, the minor 7th, B, the perfect 5th, G, the minor third, E, the root, and D, the minor seventh. You can try it like this. <laughs> Playing the notes like that gives us a 10 note sequence. So let's just kind of round it out and add one extra low note on there and turn this into a well-behaved multiple of six. We are gonna add the G note down here at fret 10 on the A string. So you skip another string. I like to use my ring finger for this. Again, whichever finger you prefer, we end up with this as the core starting point. I personally find that really difficult to just play hammer-ons and pull-offs in that particular order. So I'm gonna show you the sequence that I play and I can't really remember how I stumbled across this. I just feel like I've always played this particular line like this. And I do use hybrid picking to hit the notes on the high E string and a lot of hammer-ons and hammer-ons from nowhere. So I would recommend by starting to practice this particular shape, we'll play the G string notes and then we'll just play fret seven on the high E string, which I will hit with a hybrid pluck and then we'll come back down to the G string notes. So it's a variation of that Paul Gilbert sixes lick. <laughs> You can see there that for a lot of that, I'm actually only just hybrid picking the top note and the rest is all hammer-ons from nowhere. You can play that and then whenever you like, you can play up all the notes on the high E string and then play all the way down. So you get something like this. Another variation is to add a tap and slide. We're gonna hit F sharp and G, so the ninth and then the minor third on the top, you get this. This lick is definitely a kind of trick shot lick for me where I reckon I probably only get close to nailing it maybe one in every five times and the other four times are kind of okay. So don't be too hard on yourself if it takes you quite a while just to get the basic patterns down for this. And then as always, Lots of gain, lots of delay, reverb, pitch detune, chorus, whatever you want. Use a wah, use all the cheat codes on there to really make this sound glorious. Have some fun with it and let me know how you go. As always, if you want to support the channel, there's some links in the video description to do that. Enjoy this lick and I'll see you next time.